Day three of the Matthew DeGruy trial today got into the heart of the matter, his mental state at the time of the killings. Defense lawyer Alan Fay called two psychiatrists to discuss DeGruy's state of mind when he killed five people at a Brentwood house party. Among those was Dr. Alberto Choi, who said he could not tell exactly what mental disorder DeGruy was suffering from, whether it was schizophrenia or something else, but he was definitely psychotic at the time of the killings and did not know what he was doing was morally wrong. He basically said that without doing more extensive testing, he can't be uh, sure exactly what label to put on the mental disorder my client has, but he hasn't, he is very sure that my client does suffer from a mental disorder of a psychotic kind. And when we say psychotic, we mean that's associated with um, um, disconnection with reality. The psychiatrist testified he considered the possibility DeGrood was faking, but he was able to eliminate that possibility. He always approaches these assessments um, with no preconceived notion. He's alive to the possibility of faking or malingering, as it's referred to. And um, at the end of the result, at the end of the assessment, as a result of hearing everything he did and comparing it with all the information he had, he was satisfied that my client was not faking, that there is no malingering taking place here. On Thursday, court will hear from the final witness in this trial, a psychologist who was also involved in the assessment of DeGrood. Reporting from the Calgary Court Centre, Kevin Martin.